morning guys we are in the Zaisan area of Ulaanbaatar we are trying to make our way up to a monument that monument up on top of that hill we are just so lost we've been walking for like 10-15 minutes try to find the entryway to this freaking monument so that we can hike up this little bit of a hill to find it but hopefully we find it soon i mean we are with three pilots so we trust that they're good at navigating something i don't know we're just following them at, that, at this point i just had to get us on the right bus <laughs> my job is done so it turns out all we needed to do when we got off the bus was turn left and walk about 300 meters to get to the entrance of the zaisan monument instead like the expert tourists we are we turned right and walked pretty much a kilometer and a half the other two pilots are taking the stairs and we're going into the mall taking an elevator to the seventh floor and then hopefully meeting them like halfway up the hill because we don't like exercise that much for us <gasps> yes oh that is fun there's like a glass <gasps> please this is so cool you can take all 600 steps up to the top of the hill from the base of the hill or if you're anything like me you can walk inside the Zeisana Hill Mall, take the elevator up to the glass bridge and then walk across and take the last 300 steps to the top of the hill where you see the Zeisana Monument. It seems like each weekend we're doing stuff that kills. <laughs> it's like a hike. It's a good workout though. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful! The Zaisan Monument sits at the top of a hill in the southern part of the city. It's a huge concrete ring elevated about 5 meters above the ground and it features mosaic tile art representing some of Mongolia's history. The monument was built by Russia in 1956 and honors allied Mongolian and Soviet soldiers killed in World War II. The mural depicts scenes of friendship between the people of the USSR and Mongolia, scenes such as Soviet support for Mongolia's independence declaration in 1920 the victory over Nazi Germany, as well as peacetime achievements such as Soviet space flights, including the flight of Soyuz 39, which carried the first Mongolian into space. If the monument isn't enough, you also get to enjoy a full panoramic view of the entire city of Ulaanbaatar below. We went in the middle of the day, but are told that the best time to visit the monument is at sunrise or sunset for even better views. On the left side of Zaisan Hill, you can find a religious complex with a 15 meter high gilded Buddha statue and both sites are free to visit. Let me quickly get a matcha. Hello party people. We're now in the coffee shop. We're ordering matchas. An iced matcha from this coffee chicken. That's actually a very strange combination of words. Coffee chicken. I didn't realize that's what it said. We went to the coffee chicken. We went to the what? coffee chicken coffee shop and I got a matcha. matcha. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't speak Mongolian. A photo. Oh. If you're someone of color, prepare to have several interactions like this one. It's nothing bad. The locals here genuinely just never see black people, I guess. So they're more fascinated by us than anything else. Oh, that's very good. Mongolia is mm. home to some of the highest quality cashmere, so expect to find lots of stores selling it. It's obviously expensive. For instance, this store was selling a jersey for the equivalent of 20,000 rand. I know, crazy, but I am hoping to find something made of cashmere for a better price at the black market before I leave. We've made it to the Golden Buddha. <laughs> Standing at about 23 meters high is the Golden Buddha at the base of Zaisan Hill. It was built in 2006 and it's believed that Buddha is watching over the city, protecting it from danger and ensuring peace and harmony to its residents. During peak season, locals like to take formal wedding pictures here because not only is the statue quite stunning for a backdrop, but it's built in a clean and well taken care of garden. Now there's nothing crazy spectacular about the statue, I've got to say, but personally I do think it's worth a visit if you find yourself in the area. Although none of the coffee shops on the property were open on this day, there were some restaurants about 100 meters away that looked pretty cool. I honestly thought that this Buddha would be the size of the David in Florence, but it's like, that is very high. I wonder if it's real gold too. We found this like temple while we were walking back, but their entry fee is like 35,000 or something. I mean, it's, it's 
not a lot it's just that you have to pay extra if you want to take photos and we're like Ugh, for like two or three photos it's not worth it and we're still pretty early we're supposed to meet some more crew at hard rock cafe for lunch at two o'clock and it's not even 1 p.m yet so we're just gonna walk the rest of the way and see a little bit more of the city i love that there's so much green space in the middle of the city though like there's benches, it's really clean, really unbothered, and you can just hang out. I just realized I didn't bring my wireless mic and it's windy. So I'm going to try not to talk much anymore. I'm just going to kind of take you all on the walk with me. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? cafe guys we've walked 14,000 steps today and I had a coffee for breakfast almost 2 p.m. but we made it I can't wait apparently the food here is just delicious could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew my will is strong with a place to lean in the moment I hung best believe the other you give me a sign give me a sign oh give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me one more 